Hello and welcome to the Short Save MGO video. Today I'm going to show you something that will either improve performance or maybe improve stability if your CPU has less than 8 cores or less than 16 threads. Now in my case, I don't have any of those, but I'm still going to show you how you figure this out and what to do. So first of all, uh, when you first open the emulator, you'll have your CPU model right in front of you. You can copy that. And then you can just put it into Google. So you can see I've already done that. And it's usually the top link, but it could be one of the first three, for example. You could even find it where you buy these things. You know, it'll normally mention specifications such as the cores and the threads, which is what I'm interested in. So I've said I'm above those specifications I mentioned. But if you're less than eight cores or less than um, 16 threads, then what might be of interest to you is if you right click the game, change custom configuration, go to the advanced tab, and then here where it says maximum number of spurs threads, I'm not talking about anything else, but this specific section, nothing else is worth changing in the emulator apart from resolution scale and the keyboard handler, generally speaking. I've never heard of any instance that's different since we're this updated in the uh, emulation world. So, um, what you want to do is try values from free to unlimited <clears throat> and see which gives you the best performance. You might find actually that this could give you more performance than this one could, but then this one crashes less. So it is pretty much, um, you have to test it and see. Now I'm not going to change this because I've, I'm um, more than eight core, cores, 16 threads, so it's not worth it for me. I'm just going to hit apply and save in my case. But in your case, if you have less, then try free and then go up and see what's better there. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope that helps someone with that specific situation.